proper breathing mechanics start with a few ingredients. First of all, we want to be breathing through our nose whenever possible. The nose has the plumbing for cleaning and humidifying and making sure that the air is ready for your lungs because your lungs themselves are actually fairly fragile. Also, we want to make sure that we are breathing low and wide in our bodies. This will keep our nervous system in check to make sure that we sync up with the activities that we are actually doing and we don't get out of whack with the demands that are placed before us. So to practice this throughout your day, make sure that you are breathing through your nose whenever possible. This may be difficult in the beginning. That is okay. Once you get to where you're able to do that just with your everyday life, incorporate it into your exercise. Breathe through your nose as much as possible. So let's do a little bit of a practice so that you can get the hang of this and focus on the correct feeling of what you should be getting out of this. You can start laying on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. With your mouth closed, let's take in just a few deep, full breaths. Now, take your hands, you're going to place your index finger and thumb around the bottom of your ribs. So you're going to be here and you're going to apply pressure. And as you inhale, your hands should be driven away from your spine. This creates what's called circumferential expansion. So as you inhale, your bottom ribs open up and that will allow your diaphragm to descend and to pull in as much air as possible. So breathe through your nose, breathe low and wide. 